GarageBand for Mac's straightforward and intuitive layout makes it much easier to get to grips with than most other digital audio workstations. What is that? GarageBand has another feature you might not be aware of that can streamline your music making workflow even more. Here's how it works. Using the keys on your typing keyboard, you can control almost every aspect of GarageBand's interface without laying a finger on your mouse or trackpad. Memorising the whole lot in one sitting is perhaps a bit of a tall order. There are 63 of them, so here's a selection of the most useful and most frequently used to get you started. Some basic keyboard shortcuts you'll want to master first are Spacebar Starts and stops playback Return Goes to the beginning of the project S solos the selected track M mutes the selected track Command and Z together undoes the last change you made to the project. B opens Smart Controls for the selected track. E opens the Editor window for the currently selected track. O opens or hides the Loop Browser. and Command and S together saves the current project. That should be enough to get you started. If you want to dive deeper, I have an easy to read and printable table of all 63 GarageBand keyboard shortcuts that you can download for free and keep forever. I'll put a link to that down below. That'll about do it for this quick tip. I've been Patrick from thegaragebandguide.com. Bye for now.